<laughs> and I have no mana potions. No, I always forget to buy. Oh, look, some of the some of the eyes are different sizes. How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome back to our expert super modded Let's Play. And I am excited for today's episode because we are getting ready to battle the wall of flesh and unleash hard mode upon Sophie's world. And I kind of hope we go okay. We've got lots of nice weapons, so we should be alright, but uh, you never know until you have that big battle. And the other thing, ooh, Shadow Chess. <laughs> the other thing I'm excited about too is, unlike usually when I'm doing my expert playthroughs and I can't use many weapons because it's a class, this time, guys, this time I can use everything and it's gonna be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited just to use magic weapons and B-nades and the Hellwing bow. Oh, we're gonna be like a little walking sort of one, one woman army here and it's gonna be fantastic. I am so looking forward to it. A quick shout out to, and thank you, I suppose, uh, for all the support on our last Sophie episode. We were well on the way to 2,000 likes, guys. That is awesome. So thank you uh, to each and every one of you that continue to support uh, this series. I really appreciate it, guys. So let's just make our way across the lava here. Uh, also, big announcements. Uh, we have the giveaway winners for our 150,000 subscriber giveaway, uh, which was in a video earlier in the week. I'll be announcing them later in the video. So we had one grand prize and two runners-up prizes, so stay tuned for that. And big thank you to everyone who entered. We had a ton of entries. Uh-oh, don't fall in lava. <laughs> we had a ton of entries, and I can't wait to announce the winners. And thanks to everyone who got involved. We have such an active community. It's very, very fun. A uh, very fun place for me to be part of. I really, really enjoy it, guys. So let's look at some of these pots. Uh, what we're also going to have to do... Oh, there's another shadow chest. Uh, we're going to mine up some hellstone, and I'll just need to make an obsidian skin potion. I don't think we've got one yet. Um, yeah, I'll just need to make one of those, uh, because there's quite a few recipes uh, with all... Whoa, lava! <laughs> um, there's quite a few recipes that we can make that, um, yeah, just need a bit of hellstone. So that'll be nice, too. And I think we just got a Life Force Potion, which I love how you can get these uh, in the Shadow Chest. It's very nice indeed. Uh, so yeah, so we've got a few things to do. Uh, we'll expand our Treehouse base too. I've been so looking forward to that. We'll do the big tree part up the top. Uh, so that's going to be great. So I might just grab a few more of these pots, guys, and then let's mine up some Hellstone. Now that we've got all our nice Hellstone ore, it is time to do some of these upgrades I've been looking forward to for quite a while now. It's always nice to power up. So we've got our obsidian from before. So let's make a bunch of Hellstone bars and we can make 99. No, we can make two more. We've got 101 and I've got some bars ready in advance because at the miner's workstation, we can actually make the mining emblem, uh, which is a material too. So let's check out quickly what it turns into guys uh, so a mining flower and a mining boots okay so I'm gonna need two of them also I noticed when you put this on there all of those combine to the ultimate mining accessory uh, so we're going to need some lightning boots and all that good stuff but we'll get there very very soon I'm sure alright so for upgrades what I want to grab is the molten set uh, so we will be using all weapons but I think Molten has nice high defense for Wall of Flesh on Expert, which is always appreciated. Let's grab an Imp Staff, which is nice and fun. And a few of you asked me to craft uh, the Wing Skelet, uh, so I can actually make Hellstone Wings, uh, which should be nice, uh, a nice powerful upgrade. And let's actually test them uh, and see if they are better than our Leaf Wings. I'm assuming they will be. Let's fly, 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 fly. Yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Okay, very good indeed. So our next plan is to actually, let's expand our rooms before we fight Wall of Flesh. I'm going to gut this tree out, put a little pathway up, and we can probably fit mm, probably about five rooms in there, guys. So let's get started.
Ah, oh, guys, we have our lovely treehouse done, and I've purposely left some areas a bit bare so we can actually add stuff to it later on. And I've also got this open bit here because what I want to do is, like we talked about earlier in the venture, uh, in our adventure, eventually make this cool bridge uh, that sort of joins the two together. And that'll be really nice to walk across to get between the two bases. And I haven't actually made one of those before. Now, there is one weapon that a few of you are probably like, happy, happy, you need to make it. And that is the Thorium Anvil, which we still don't have. Uh, so I might just dig up one of these chairs here or mine them up or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I think we need 20 Thorium Bars. And I've noticed that the building recipe for this now needs Hellstone Bars. So you can't make it as early as you used to be able to. Because this was really OP if you got it earlier in the game. Uh, so we've got the Thor's Hammer. Uh, it says Melee. Now how do I change it? I can't seem to right click it. Um, but I'll figure that out anyway, but we have the nice Thor's hammer, and I'll probably change it into ranged or ma magic for the fight. So we've got a pretty good selection of weapons. I think we're almost ready to go. I think what we need to do now is grab some blocks and start to make our hell runway. Uh, so I'll go to the dryad, get some uh, sunflowers and grass seeds and all that good stuff, get a bit of honey from the jungle, and then let's get this runway built, guys. So we are just making the final preparations for our battle with the Wall of Flesh and I thought, hey, we can probably make some more bean aids and I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. So I think I need bee wax and then I should just be able to craft them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, because I'm probably not going to use bee wax for anything else. So more bean aids, always fun. Uh, another thing I wouldn't mind trying out is grabbing a couple of Jester arrows from the... I know they're not from the Sorcerer, okay, he's got nothing new. Uh, from the Archer, because, yeah, we've got the Hellwing bow, but Jester arrows might be kind of fun uh, to try out here. So let's get a couple. I always say a couple and buy several hundred, I know. Um, so yeah, I'll sort of maybe have them like that, and we can just try them for a little bit of the fight. Anyway, we found a voodoo doll down there while we're making our runway. Let's get down there and fight this boss. Alright people, it is time, as we've got a slime bouncing away in the lava there, to get this battle underway. And of course, enemies turn up just as we're about to start this. So let's throw our buffs on, and let's get this battle well and truly underway. And let's throw a few bean aids, and I've got my hive pack equipped, so we should get some nice, strong bees from that. And it looks like the Hellwing bow, is that setting them on fire too? No slime, get out of the way! What are you doing? Bees, save me! <laughs> And actually, this is a good spot to bounce uh, a few little water bolts around, too. Yeah, I'm liking that. That's good. Oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> and I have no mana potions. No, I always forget to buy. Oh, look! Some of the, some of the eyes are different sizes. <laughs> okay, let's close in. Get some, uh, some of our beast sword action going. Yep, very good, very good. I did a few reforges. But the sad thing is, I actually ended up with a worse modifier on my uh, Beekeeper sword, so what are you going to do? But my other stuff got better reforges, so I'm kind of happy with that. I think it's time for a few more B-nades. And as always on Expert, uh, the Hungries deal significantly more damage as the fight goes on, so we just have to manage them as best we can, and then, you know, hope, hope that we do survive the latest stages of the battle. Uh, but so far, so good. We're doing alright so far. There we go, got a little bit more mana, let's cast some more of that. Let's get some of our Thor's hammer. And yes, I, I did remember how to do it. You just do it from the crafting menu, so that's kind of cool too. Now, our razor knife pierces as well, which is kind of cool. So let's get a few extra hits in with that. 
Although the Howling Bow is probably a lot quicker, so yeah, we might we might just use that. So it got protected by a couple of buildings there, but that's all right. There we go. Let's throw some more bees into the action there. Get some more Jester arrows going. Whoa, okay. We're doing all right, but it is starting to get a little bit angry, I think. Let's throw a couple more bee nades. I think I've got two. I've got one left. Okay, of course. Oh, no. No, I slowed down. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I bounced off something. Oh, there's the last bee nade. Oh, guys. Let's go Thor's hammer. Yes. No, no, that's not working. It's too slow. Oh, the hungries are spawning with stuff too. Oh, I love it. I love it. Oh, I didn't make my runway too long this time, so hopefully we can finish it off soon. No, no, water bolt, no. Oh, okay, it's under a thousand, guys. It's under a thousand. It's under five hundred. Oh, I'm getting slammed. No, no, no. Oh, oh, this is like out of runway, like literally. Oh, no way. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. I think I got all my treasure as as it died because it like bounced straight into me. <laughs> oh no way! I ran out of just arrows too. Oh okay, let's just let's just kill this. Let's just make a little bit of room here so I can just relax. Okay, beautiful. Ah, so we got some pieces of flesh, some potion crystals, and our treasure bag, which is always nice. Oh, I can't wait to get the treasure. Alright, you ready? Three, two, one, boom! <gasps> got laser gun, laser rifle. Okay, that's nice. We got sorcerer emblem. That's pretty cool uh, because, you know, we'll use magic weapons more and more as the playthrough goes on. We got our pwn hammer and we got demon heart. No! <laughs> Tortured soul, I'm sorry, I haven't got the stuff. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And now we have boosted magic damage. Oh, I'm liking that, guys. I'm liking that a lot. Ah, so I guess what we need to do now is head back up to the surface and see what craziness has happened now that the world is hallowed and... Oh, are we corrupt corruption or crimson world? What are we? We're a corruption world, yes. <laughs> so, I think I know what I want to do first, and that is summon the goblin invasion and get the shadow flame stuff. And I summon one in advance because, yeah, like they do take... Uh, about 30-40 seconds to get here, but uh, because we can buy the summoning tokens from the NPCs, uh, we can just quickly and easily summon anything we need, as long as we've already beaten it once. And there is already a summoner here, let's throw our buffs on. Whoa, this is not going to be easy, and luggage is running all around like crazy. And I am- Ow, I'm already taking a lot of damage, oh this is scary, this is scary. Okay, we just got to take out this summoner, and then we'll get a good weapon to use. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Uh, also, I thought I'd take the opportunity. No, I'm going to die. No. Oh, no, this is terrible. <laughs> I need more buffs. Uh, I thought I'd take this opportunity, hopefully not dying while I say this, uh, to announce the winners of our 150,000 subscriber giveaway. And thank you to everyone who entered. I was going through the video and we had almost 7,000 entries. Yes, that's right. 7,000 people. That is just wow. I was... Uh, Kind of, kind of shocked by it, and you know, you're all taking the time to leave really awesome comments and feedback, and yeah, which of your series you sort of found our channel on, and uh, it was really cool to read through as many of them as I could. Uh, so I've drawn out the three winners, and I'll put them on screen now. And the angler has died. Oh no! I'll put them on screen now. Now I will get in touch with you over the next six to twelve hours. Um, so I'll get in touch with you, send you some messages, all that good stuff. Uh, so please, don't worry if you don't get a message from me straight away, um, but I'll be in touch soon and we'll work out how to get your prize to you, and that will be awesome. And don't worry guys, we'll be hosting another one of these very soon, I'm sure, and you'll have another chance to win your own games. Oh no, we're not... Oh, this summoner is so tough. Oh! Uh, so as you guys probably noticed, I didn't upload for a day or two there. Uh, I actually got quite ill for a little bit, and I tried to record and it just did not sound the best, so yeah, I, I felt so bad not doing a video for you, but yeah, it didn't sound too great, and I was like, yeah, you guys don't- No! <laughs> I'm like, you guys don't need to hear me sounding like that! <laughs> so, I'm feeling better now, so we'll be back into the action. We've had this video today, and we'll have a Johan one tomorrow, uh, and then we're all back to normal, which will be awesome. I've missed recording. So, uh, yeah, it's fun to get back into it. Oh, the summoner's still here. Sweet. I'm going to take you out. 
Uh, but we'll leave that there for today, guys. Hopefully I can kill this summoner. Oh, no. Um, we might actually need to get stronger weapons first. But yes, yeah, smash that <laughs> NPC is all dying. No. Uh, yeah, smash that like button if you're enjoying our series. Keep your comments and suggestions and feedback uh, coming in the comment section. But here's the most important part, as always. You will stay happy, and I'll see you soon. This is Happy Days, signing out. See ya.